The first European women who arrived in the southern colonies worked as indentured servants for a number of years in exchange for their journey. But as the 13 colonies expanded, the experiences of women varied depending on their religion, their social status, and where they lived. What all women shared, however, was a lack of rights and very little freedom. Marriage was one of the most important ways for women in the colonies to have the opportunity for a better life. It was extremely hard for an unmarried woman to make a living. Many women were married at an early age, sometimes as young as 13 years old. If a woman was not married by the age of 25, she was sometimes shamed by the community. A married woman was considered to be the property of her husband under a rule called coverture. Most wives were responsible for managing the household and raising their children. Even if a woman earned money, it belonged to her husband. By the 1700s, women often helped in family businesses. But even though they worked hard, wives weren't allowed to own property or vote like their husbands. If a woman's husband died, she had more freedom. She was allowed to own property, and in some places, she could vote. But because few women were educated, many of them were not aware of their rights. Opportunities for most women in the colonies were very limited, and they were often not free to choose their own way. Since then, society has changed, giving men and women more equality and freedom than ever before. What do you think it would have felt like to be a woman in the colonies 